So Dr. Ansel, how significant is this news from the study in South Africa? I think this news is very significant because it relates to the first proof of concept that a microbicide, that is a gel that applied vaginally can prevent HIV transmission from male to female, uh, is safe and efficacious. And, uh, and this, this is a tremendous accomplishment by the scientific community and as part of that Conrad and EVMS um, towards the development of a, an effective female control prevention or prevention method for HIV transmission. So tell us exactly how the gel works. The gel is applied vaginally prior, up to 12 hours prior to intercourse to have sexual activity or, uh, or 12 hours after it. And it penetrates into the tissue, into the vaginal wall and blocks the incoming virus and prevents replication of the virus right at the site of entry. Hmm. Is it effective against more than just HIV? Exclusively effective against HIV and for the time being, herpes. So that's another important thing, very important and sort of unpredicted uh, um, uh, effect of the uh, gel. The gel was not tested initially uh, for its anti-HSV herpes properties, but it demonstrated up to 50% protection uh, against acquisition of herpes. And you have to bear in mind that although HIV AIDS is, uh, carries a tremendous health burden and it can certainly end with death, herpes is the commonest of the sexually transmitted diseases and in Africa has a prevalence that borders uh, uh, the 80% uh, uh, of the population uh, sexually active. How long have we been working toward this goal? I would say that it's uh, probably been in development for uh, the last 10 to, to uh, 7 to 10 years. Hmm. And, uh, and um, you know, from the very beginning, from the, from the uh, initial studies in animals hmm. to, to this clinical trial, you know, it, it, it's, it's about average of, uh, you know, that time you know, of product development. What was EVMS's role in this line of research? EVMS has uh, uh, been involved uh, from the very beginning, but it has received a license. So Conrad has a license to this gel, mm -hmm. and the license was provided by the owner of the drug, Gilead uh, uh, Sciences, which is a, a, a U.S.-based pharmaceutical company. Mm -hmm. And um, we uh, got the license uh, in the uh, um, about uh, uh, four years ago, more or less, and. Um, and it, the license enabled us to develop uh, the uh, gel and to improve upon the gel. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. And so where do we go from here? What's the, what's the next step in this research? Well, the, ne the next step is this, this. You have to bear in mind that this has been a very successful uh, study, but it's not enough to register the drug and, and, and go out and distribute it. it. It requires a confirmatory study. So we are already working on developing a confirmatory study. Beyond that, what Conrad is also doing is working on improvements of this uh, gel. And, and about two, three years ago, we started having in mind that this could end up in, in a success, as it did. Uh, we started to work on improvements, and our improvements are based on the development of a ring, which is less user uh, dependent, because this is a gel and some women don't use it or don't remember to use it when they mm -hmm. should. Uh, so a ring, an intervaginal ring, is, is uh, applied there and releases the drug continuously. We're also working on combinations, so two active compounds uh, inside the gel. And finally, we are working on a dual protection technology, one that confers protection in, against unwanted pregnancies and certainly undesired um, sexually transmitted diseases like HIV.